Today is the first day of fall. Did you know that? I did. Okay. Well, you wouldn't know by it's feeling it, though. Season, Ron. Come on. <laughs> Let the Texans know that it's football hey, hey, here's season. Here's the okay? thing. Eventually, it's going to feel like fall outside, right, Pat? We just have to wait a while. I, I like to call this fall in name only because we're in southeast Texas, right? So it's not cool outside, obviously, but we may have some changes on the way. Let's just talk about the first day of fall, what it means. Basically, the name equinox, the autumnal equinox, it comes from the fact that the sun's rays are right over the equator. And so we've got equal day and night, equal hours of day and night right over the equator, though. Not for us here in Southeast Texas. Again, today's the first day of fall. Technically, it happened at 119 this afternoon. For us here in Houston, we're not totally equal today. We get 12 hours and seven minutes of daylight instead of 12 and 12. Our day of equality, known as the Equilux, that comes on Friday, and that's a day that we will have 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of nighttime. Certainly feels like summer outside right now, though, especially as you go west of the city where it's a little bit warmer. 93 Sugarland, Brenham, 94 College Station, 90 for Tomball, and tons of humidity to go with it. Dew points well into the 70s, indicating a tropical air mass. So again, temperatures feel more like the upper 90s. Uh, as we get into the overnight, we stay warm. We only drop to the mid 70s with partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow we'll do it again. Low to mid 90s, isolated storms, a lot of humidity, but Changes are on the way. If you're flying anywhere this afternoon, Bush and Hobby look okay. So does uh, the New York area airport, Chicago and LA. So it's pretty smooth sailing across the area weather wise. But yeah, we got some storms out there. We'll get you into Harris County first. Notice the city itself is quiet. East side though, a couple downpours flaring up across Lake Houston, going up towards the Huffman area, Tascacita, Magnolia Gardens crossing over I-10 and Highway 90. A little farther to the north here though, the Bush airport area is fine, but it's a thunderstorm now pushing through Liberty County. That's uh, really dropping the most rainfall right now. That's kind of paralleling the uh, East Tex freeway, and that'll be uh, to the north here within the next hour. South and west of town, a couple downpours now starting to fizzle out through Wharton and Matagorda counties, and that should be it as we go through the rest of the evening. Getting into tomorrow, the rain chances look pretty much the same. 40% chance Harris County down to the coast. The chances will drop off the farther north you go. Here to look at future track. We stop the clock at 2 to 3 o'clock tomorrow, and again, it's pretty much a carbon copy of what we've had the last few days. We'll start with sunshine, a couple clouds. By the afternoon, the evening, it's about a 30-40% chance of downpours and storms. That chance will drop off a little bit as you go farther north. Let's talk about Wednesday because this is where the change starts to come in play. So Wednesday morning, we actually start the day dry, and that'll be the first time in about three or four days that we shouldn't really have any rain on radar. But there will be a lot of humidity in place, and you don't have to look far for the rain. In fact, by noon, the radar really starts to fill in rapidly. That is our front starting to push in. And if this holds off maybe two more hours, so until two or three o'clock, and temperatures can actually get even warmer into the mid 90s, we could be talking about a severe weather threat here with a couple of gusty feisty storms. But right now, the models take this through pretty quick. By the evening, it's out of here and behind it, we see a drop in humidity and temperatures. So until then, rain chances go up. We, we may see a couple linger into Thursday morning, but the trend will be towards drier weather into the end of the week because this front, which is actually expected to clear the area as we get into Friday and Saturday and Sunday, will bring in a drop in humidity and temperatures for the end of the week. In fact, look at our dew points. Today we're in that summer humid scale in the 70 to 75 range. By Friday and the weekend, we're in the dry and comfortable range here as all of that dark green on the map gets wiped away and pushed out towards the Gulf. We'll see dew points going from the tropical range into the comfortable and bone dry range as we get into the weekend, and that'll bring us some cooler overnight temperatures in the 60s as well. In the tropics, uh, Gabrielle is a major category four hurricane, and we've got two other potent waves behind it to watch. First, let us on Gabrielle. Cat four hurricane winds at 140 miles per hour moving northwest, eventually goes out to sea, and it's not a threat to anybody. The other waves that we're going to be watching, though, are being picked up by both models, and they could develop as we get towards the end of the week, one of which may even get close to the United States. Not a threat for us here in Houston. There's the seven day forecast 95 on Wednesday with afternoon and evening storms. We drop to the 80s and for Thursday and Friday with lots of sunshine and low humidity through the start of the following week.